I want to talk just, uh, I know the meet your meat video. I think the images are so assaulting that it can sometimes be uh, difficult to listen as closely as we might to some of the words. I want to talk just briefly about what I see as the sort of highlights of cruelty for each of the farmed animals. Uh, Alice Walker calls eating chicken eating misery because the animals literally every moment of their lives unmitigated misery. Chickens, because of the drugging and the breeding, their upper bodies now grow more than six times as quickly as they did just 50 years ago. But their hearts and their lungs and their limbs have not kept up. So what you find is chickens dying at a rate of 1% per week because their lungs fail or they have heart attacks or their legs cripple and they dehydrate to death. 1% per week. They're literally living in complete misery, stewed in their own excrement for their entire lives. The National Chicken Council has some laughable animal welfare standards. They affect almost nothing. Uh, but one thing that they say that we thought was telling is that uh, they, they don't want more than 30% of animals to arrive at slaughter with significant breast blisters. So that's, you know, it's perfectly fine with the National Chicken Council if 3 billion of the 9 billion chickens who are slaughtered every year have breast blisters, which is burns. I mean, scientifically, it hurts just as much as if you, you know, took your hand and put it on the stove. And this is how, according to the NCC, it's acceptable if uh, a third of them arrive at slaughter with those breast burns. burns. We're releasing an investigation tomorrow um, where we found that at one of the two slaughterhouses we investigated, 75% of the animals showed up with breast blisters. Pigs, uh, mother pigs, spend their entire lives unable to turn around. They're crammed into the gestation crates that you saw in the videos. Baby pigs have you know, the equivalent of uh, serious dental surgery. I mean, their teeth are ripped and are cut in half. Their eye teeth without any kind of pain relief. They're castrated without pain relief. Their tails are chopped off. And can you imagine going to your vet and saying, yeah, I would like to have my you know, animal uh, neutered, but I don't want to pay for the pain relief. I mean, that's the equivalent of what's happening to you know, 50 million male pigs every single year. There's a new drug called Paline, which is crippling the animals. If you go to uh, one of these pig factory farms now, you'll see that all of the animals are very, very heavily muscled because of all the drugs that they're being fed. And what that means is, and I'll mention this in a second, but what it means is that the animals can barely walk, much like the chickens, because the growth promoting drugs that they've been using in chickens for a long time, now they found out how to do it with pigs, and we're finding the exact same problems that you have with chickens they have with pigs. People oftentimes you know, don't see the intuitive suffering of dairy farms. You know, cows give milk, right? They line up to give milk. Um, Sadly, about a quarter of dairy cows at any given time, and this is an industry statistic, every statistic um, that I've used in this talk, every statistic on our website, we have cited the cruelty statistics all go to industry journals. You know, none of this is even animal welfare groups. It's industry journals. It's peer-reviewed. Um, dairy cows have about a quarter at any given time. 25% of them have mastitis. By the time they're shipped to slaughter, 40% of them are lame because they give 10 times as much milk as their babies would naturally suckle. I mean, cows are mammals. The reason they give milk is they give milk for their babies. So we artificially inseminate them. We force them to have a baby per year for their uh, five to six year lives. The male babies go off to veal farms. And that's where 100% of veal calves are the babies of dairy cows. The mother cows give 10 times as much milk as they, their babies would naturally suckle. All of the calcium goes out in the milk, so they all end up lame. And if the people have probably heard about downer cows, about 100 to 200,000 cows arrive at slaughter every single year, unable to walk off the backs of the transport trucks. Close to 100% of those are dairy cows. I mean, beef cattle are shipped to slaughter um, at 16 to 18 months, and they haven't had all the calcium depleted from their bodies. So they're usually able to, almost always able to walk off the backs of the trucks. The animals who can't walk off the backs of the trucks are the dairy cows because their bodies are so depleted of calcium. A hideous cruelty to animals. And it's the veal industry and the dairy industry. They're the same industries. The worst of the industries is the uh, egg industry. It takes 34 hours in a tiny little cage for one egg. 
So a hen has a wingspan of 30 to 32 inches. So that's, you know, something like that maybe, 30 to 32 inches. These, uh, just, these uh, battery cages are 18 by 20 inches, and the industry standard is to cram 6.5 hens in. So they have either six or seven hens generally in these cages where not one hen could spread even a single wing. And they have an industry average of you know, six to seven hens per cages. They spend their entire lives in these cages. So that again, industry statistic, one in six, by the time they're taken out, has, has uh, broken bones. Because they don't get to move. You know, it'd be like if you sat at your desk and didn't move for 18 months, your muscles and bones would atrophy. Your bones would break. And that's what happens. One in six of them have bone breaks by the time they're taken out of the cages. One in three suffers a new bone break as they're taken out of the cages because their muscles and bones have wasted away to nothing by the time they're shipped to slaughter. And nobody eats these animals. Most of these animals are ground up and fed back to chickens and pigs and cattle. Um, some of them end up in soup, but it's under 10% now because their bodies are so completely trashed that really all they're good for is either cat food, dog food, um, or to be fed back to other farmed animals. 34 hours of misery for a hen for a single egg. The trip to the slaughterhouse, oftentimes many hours for cattle and pigs, sometimes days. Millions of chickens arrive at the slaughterhouse dead every year. Uh, pigs, because of the drugs, as you saw in the Alec Baldwin um, video, he says 200,000 pigs arrive crippled or dead at the slaughterhouse every year. Some people speculate that the real numbers are much higher. The most recent number from the National Pork Producers Council is over, is over a million. Um, so it's gone up since we did the video five times. And that really is paleen and the drugs that cause the animals basically to be like chickens now. Their upper bodies grow so quickly their legs can't keep up and the animals end up on the backs of these trucks and they can't walk off when they get to the slaughterhouse. 